Hey, my name is Jessica. I go by Joss Speaks, and today I'll be talking to you about how to create interactive images in Keynote. So this is a great way for you to put together a presentation for your executives, for um, clients, for customers, for your business, and for pitch sessions without it being boring and stuffy. So this is a great way for you to create some content that is fun, engaging, and interactive above all else, right? And that gets you the sale. Um, so let's go ahead, or get someone to adopt your idea as well on the other uh, opposite end of that. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. And I'll show you how we put this together. So first things first, what we're going to do is we are definitely going to go to our Keynote, right? So we're going to pull up Keynote uh, in Mac. And then I already have a template here with a couple of different things that I put together. But I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how I did this. So we're going to start with this particular um, photo here. So we're going to start with a new slide. And this is the same for anyone. If you were to start with just a brand new template, and actually let's do that. So we're going to start with a brand new template. I usually just go with a white background and click on choose. As you can see, there are a gazillion different templates you can choose. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these boxes. We're going to click on them and click delete. So we're going to get rid of those boxes. And now we have a blank slate. So the first thing that I like to do is to bring in my element. So my element or my object it's actually going to be me, right? I'm going to be the object in this particular picture. The object is the thing that you want to have move around. Now, you certainly can have your text move around. You can have um, shapes move around, so on and so forth. But in this particular um, slide, I want to just have me, you know, I want to have myself move around as the object. So we're going to go ahead and insert me here. We're going to go to insert, and we're going to go choose. Now, what we're doing is we're choosing the file. So I'm going to choose just one of my pictures that I have. So my pictures are in my, uh, they're in my, there's, they're my downloads, I believe. Um, so we're going to go ahead and find my picture. These are all my videos. Let's find a picture of me. Now, these, the picture that we have here might not work because those pictures are um, not up against the white wall. It really works well if you just stand up against the white wall, as you can see in this moment here. See, I, here I'm just standing up against the white wall. It works really, really well to get rid of the background. So I'm going to show you a really simple and easy way for you to go through and to crop this image and make it transparent. So we're going to go to the image. We're going to click on the image. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our little uh, menu bar, and we're going to click on image here and go to instant alpha. Instant alpha is where we're going to remove everything else that's around me so that it looks like I'm back inside of the, um, the image like you see here. I'm back at the uh, conference like you see here. Now, this is a different picture, but it's the same concept, same concept. So... Go ahead and minimize that. And let's get that one back up here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just remove all of the background. So we're going to take it, and we don't want to remove me at all. We just want to remove the background. So we have to be very careful to see. As you can see, some of the blue down there is hitting my hand. I don't want my whole hand to go, so we're just going to take that out. And now we're going to go to this side. And... And that one did pretty well, so we're going to take all of that out. I'm going to get this piece right here. We're going to get my shadow. All right. And we're going to get this little piece right here. Or, uh, what is that? Brown. That's brown. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and get my shadow here out of the way. All right. And then we're going to get inside my arm, too, because I don't want that to show. All right. I want all of this to be as transparent as possible. So we're going to go with that piece, and now we're going to go ahead and try to get this little piece here. All right. Now, as you can see, it took off a piece of my hand, but I'm not going to worry about that just for the um, just for this video. I'm just going to go ahead and act like that didn't happen. <laughs> but if it does, what you can just do is hit reset. So I'll show you what that looks like just for the instance of this video. Hit reset, and it all comes back. 
very easy and simple. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, minimize this a little bit. So I'm going to hit on done, although I'm not done. I'm going to minimize this just a little bit to make it a little bit easier for me to see. There we go. That works. Now we're going to go back to instant alpha again, and we're going to tell it, hey, I want to take all of this, all of this piece out. I want to take all of that green out. All right. And we're going to tell them, yeah, I want to take all of this brown out. All right, I want to take all of my, my shadow out of the picture. I don't want that. All right, now let's uh, see what's next. Okay, we want to take this piece here as well out. We don't want that showing. We can move this out of our way here so, we can, so I can see. So I want that whole back piece. I want all of this brown out of the picture as well. All right, that looks pretty good. It looks like some of my shadow is still kind of showing, so let's get that out of there without taking off my hand here. There we go. All right, yeah, now, so we can really go in deep and kind of take out these other little pieces, these little brown pieces. We're telling it we don't want the brown. So what it's doing is it's searching for all of the pieces that we're saying we don't want. So we're going to zoom in on it and say we don't want this little brown piece. We only want the black. So there's a little piece here. Let me see if I can grab that here. And then I have one right there as well. Without taking too much of my jacket off. All right. That looks pretty good. Let me see. Get some little pieces down here. So this part right here, I mean, obviously, you have to have some patience, right? But that looks pretty good. That's not bad, right? So we have that done, and really, if we blow it up, you can kind of see. There we go. All right, so we have that piece here. Ooh, it looks like mom. Uh, 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 uh. Right, okay, anyway. So <laughs> we got to have fun. we got to have fun with this stuff. So go to Insert, and now we're going to go to Choose. And now we're going to pick the background that we want. So I want to be in an office setting, right? I want to be in a conference room because that's where I do a lot of my work is in conference rooms, right? I work with a lot of executives. So um, I'll call them back. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to make it bigger. And we're going to arrange it. So now what we're going to do is click on Arrange here in our menu bar, right? Because now you can't see me. Where, where did I go? I'm behind the image. And I don't want to be behind the image. I want to be in the boardroom, right? I want to sit at the table, right? So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move this back. We're going to move this image back. And there I am. Now I am in the boardroom with my jeans on. It's casual Fridays, okay? <laughs> so we're going to imagine it's casual Fridays. And I am in the boardroom. All right, so now I'm in the boardroom. Now, of course, we probably want to edit some of this, so I probably would go back and play around with this a little bit more before the time-saving sake of this video so that I don't take a bunch of your time up. We're going to go ahead and leave it as is. So we have my image here. I am in the boardroom, so now we want it to say something on the sidelines here, right? So we're going to grab our text. Or actually, we're going to grab a shape first, and we're going to put a shape here. So in the shape part, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this shape and we're going to put this shape um, up in the corner somewhere. So we're going to take it here and possibly, all right, we may put it down on the bottom. Mm, yeah, let's put it down on the bottom. And now I don't like this blue. I think I want this blue or I want it to be a different color to kind of pop out. So let's say I want to make it a different color. Let's say... Um, and I think, actually, I think I do want to just kind of cover up this piece right here. I'll just have it cover, cover the projection screen there. All right. I wanted a different color, so we're going to go ahead and click, double-click on it, and then we can, so, there we go. And click on it, go to Style, all right? So we want to make sure that the, the circles are, I'm sorry, those are not circles, those are squares, that the squares are on the edge of the square, and that tells you that this has been selected. And we want to change the color to, well, let's go with a little bit of a darker. I'm trying to match that blue with my shirt. I don't think we have anything in that blue. So let's go with black. Mm, black's kind of dark. How about green? Yeah, green works. Let's go with green. All right, so let's go with green. You may not want the bright, bright colors. You might want to do something a little bit subtler. Um, let's say we're going into a corporate setting. Let's do 
maybe a brown, like the brown works, right? So let's do the brown, and then we'll do what, like white writing. So um, we have our text here, and I'm gonna show you how to grab the text. So we click on text there, and it'll pop up. We'll go ahead and put the text in here. And let's say we want it to say, uh, happy Friday, I don't know. Let's say we wanted to just tell everyone, you know, give everyone a great message that it was Friday. So we're going to go ahead and make this a bit bigger. I'm going to just increase it by clicking on the button here. Of course, we can change the font the same way. So we're going to go here, make sure it's on the text menu option, and we can change our font. And I usually go with Georgia. I might want to go in alphabetical order, huh? Uh, go with Georgia and click on Georgia. And there we go, right? So happy Friday, right? And we can put in a little message of whatever our message we want the message to be. And of course, I want to change this to, I said white. So let's see what white looks like. Yeah, I like that. All right. So we want to say happy Friday, what have you. Now, how do we make her move? How do we make my image Jessica move, right? <laughs> Casual Friday Jessica move. So Casual Friday Jessica, in order to make her move, we need to select her. So as you can see, once again, we have the squares on top of the square, on top of the square. So that let us, lets us know that this image has been selected, this object has been selected. And then we're going to go to animate. Now we're going to animate me. So we click on add an effect, and then we're going to, um, actually I don't want to add an effect. What we'll do is we'll go to build out. Yeah, so build out will have me kind of do a couple of different things. I can burst. <laughs> I can um, go into cubes. I can move away. Um, let's see. That was another good one. Oh, I can spin. Woo! Now I now I do all kinds of tricks, right? So <laughs> now with act with um, build in is where we, what we want. Excuse me. So click on build in. We go to add effect. And this is where I can kind of move around, right? So this is where I like to move in. This is where I like to um, flip, right, and show up. This is where I want to also, there's another one that I liked here. Woo, shimmer. <laughs> so these are the different ways that you can really start to make this more interactive. Because as you, you, what you'll do is you'll build this out. And also, if you want it Happy Friday, let's say we wanted Happy Friday to do the um, the shimmer. So let's go and select that. Mm -hmm, that's not it. That's scale. We want it to shimmer. Right, there we go. So we want Happy Friday to shimmer, right? And then for me, we're going to select my image here. We're going to change that. I don't want to shimmer. I just want to move in. I want to move in, right? So if we want it let's say the happy Friday to come first and then me move in we just go ahead and click on build order and we put happy Friday go first right we, we want to put this in the order of which we want it to happen right so we're putting this we're synchronizing the different steps so we want to put happy Friday um, I want to move in and then so let me take out the spin and then I'm going to spin after I move in Right? So then we're going to click on each one of these. We want these to happen as soon as we click on the actual presentation itself. So after built one, we already have after transition, after built one, and then we want to click this to be after built two. See, it moves it up for you. So now we can preview this. Let's take a look. There we go. Right? So now it's more interactive. Now it's more fun. It's more outgoing. It's, you know, and there's so many different ways. I'm pretty sure this is kind of setting off all kinds of different ideas in your head of different ways that you can really use this. Now, and it doesn't have to be a person. It can be a graph or a chart. So let's try one with a chart. Let's go ahead and just select another slide. We're going to go ahead and get rid of these. I always start off with a blank slate. Now let's grab a chart. Um, let's go with this one here. It's really so let's say this is our chart data of what we have, right? And now we want to build an effect. So now we want to have it bounce, right? We want to have it pulse. If 
like these this is the data this is the data right <laughs> and then let's say we want to have it go into Hofetti afterwards so there's really all of these different ways that you can utilize Keynote to make your presentation really pop and start to have an, a personality is what, essentially what we're doing. We are giving your content life. We are giving your presentation life. Now it has life. Now the whole room is like elated, like what else can it do, right? <laughs> I'm so excited about this data, right? So that's what we want. We want it to be memorable. Essentially, that's what we want. We want the relationship to be built in the room, and we want this content, this message, this presentation to be memorable. So uh, this is pretty much it. This is pretty much how you navigate this whole thing. I hope that it sparked a couple of different creative ideas in your head. Uh, essentially, there is a part two to this video, so you can watch part two where you can actually take this, you can download it, you can record your screen, uh, you can put in your present half presentation with half of a tutorial of your software, of your serv of your services, of different ideas that you have, so on and so forth, of websites even. You can do a tutorial of websites and place all of this information together, do a voiceover for it, and have it as a recorded in, as an e-course. This is also a great way to make uh, e-products and interactive products. So it's really a great way for you to just put all of this content together. Like I said, it's all about the relationship with the content and making the content memorable. So my name is Jessica. I go by Jaw Speaks. I hope to hopefully meet you in person soon or here in our online space. Wishing you wellness in life and in business. Peace.